I keep calling it a distro. It's not real. Like, I don't know. How would you classify Arch Linux GUI? Just as an installer for Arch, as I, a distro, what would you say? I mean, I'm open to opinions. I call it an installer, but mm-hmm. many people call it a distro, so they're free to call it whatever they want. Mm-hmm. I think with whatever we're going to call it, when you have yeah. some sort of installer like this, people expect whatever it is that they use is going to be available, whether it's, you know, one of the main things like KDE, GNOME, which generally, you you know, you'd expect to be there. But then you start getting into, like, more obscure stuff like VSPWM and you can go down the window manager rabbit hole for an entire year and still not run enough stuff to like go and include in there. And that's without even getting to the stuff that like a few people use. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, as far as window managers are concerned specifically, I got like so many requests. Some mm-hmm. of them, like I, some window managers I even hadn't heard of, right? Yeah. So I had to like search the arch wiki. <laughs> what is this? And mm-hmm. then search YouTube. What is this? But then I... Uh, like I talked, uh, I had thought about, uh, for example, I got a lot of requests for DWM, awesome. Uh, but then I had to draw a line somewhere because, yeah, like this, the number of editions would just exponentially increase. So then I just decided, as far as window managers are concerned, i3 and BSPWM would be it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I, I, I had to like tell people that, hey, I mean, I love your enthusiasm, but you know, for me, one person, it's not really feasible to you know maintain so many. And and like you said. It's just some people who are going to be using it as compared to Plasma or Gnome mm. where, you know, thousands of people are using it. So, yeah, like, at one point in time, I had to draw a line, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So it also came with uh, DEs, like, for example, DPIN and uh, uh, what is that? Uh, this Budgie. People mm. were uh, like requesting. A, in fact, I also uh, phased out Mate just for the sake because, like, a lot of... The, the amount of people who are using Mate was really less as compared mm. to no so it was just a sentimental kind of thing those who are just uh, used to mate they are using it but yeah i had to draw a line there as well yeah that i think that's one line that's easy enough to draw work well, when it comes to the hardware issues that i don't even know exactly. how you would go about approaching that especially um, when because you know, there is this like Linux has this wide array of supported hardware. I think I want to say if the oldest thing the current kernel supports is the Intel 486 SX. So everything from there up until now is supported by the Linux kernel. And there's a lot of things in that range. And there's a lot of things that could definitely break. And for a single person, I don't, I don't even know where you begin trying to look at that. Yeah, and then we also have to look about dra- uh, graphics, right? So, yeah. for example, NVIDIA drivers. So that was another big, big, uh, like, I wouldn't say a headache. Like, initially, it was a lot of work because I wasn't, like, really abreast with all the NVIDIA nomenclature and how mm. they named their products. So it took me quite a time, like, a week to understand, like, how, and then I, like, some one, someone I know, works in NVIDIA, so mm-hmm. I just got in touch with them uh, just to understand what are the different types of cards on desktop, what are the cards on laptop, and stuff like that. Because, like, for example, recently, someone said they had a 3050 Ti, and I was like, what, this card exists? <laughs> because uh, on desktop, it doesn't, right? But uh, then oh, they told me, right. oh, it's on a laptop. So, I'm right. like, oh, okay. When you're considering laptop, you also have like hybrid graphics to worry about as well and that's a whole nother can of worms to open yeah that's another another big big thing that i had to worry about well hey you got out early because uh give it a couple of months and you have another set of uh gpus to worry about when uh intel's desktop cards roll out i guess the laptop cards are out right now yeah but uh as far as intel is concerned it's it's pretty easy uh Mm. everything's in the mesa package and Anything that you need outside of Mesa is usually the older archaic stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Intel is not really something that most of us distro developers or project maintainers, we worry about. And I think the same has to be for AMD. Mm-hmm. But as far as whenever NVIDIA comes into the picture, then we have to... Uh, for example, uh, when I introduced NVIDIA, the 700 series was supported, which is the Kepler architecture. Yeah. But uh, soon it was phased out. 
So then anybody who has like a 710 or a, what 730 or even a 760, mm-hmm. uh, you suddenly lose all the support. And the funny thing is, anybody who has a 750 Ti, they have a support because their architecture is not Kepler. So it's right. like all of those minute things that uh, came into play, and that's like a lot of work that usually people don't see. That's mm-hmm. behind the scenes. <laughs> Well, the main concern I'll bring up with Intel, I know they obviously have the integrated graphics, but whenever you launch a new product SKU, it's always going to have some sort of like early teething issues. Obviously, it's going to be using those Mesa drives which already existed, but there's going to be like specific issues that show up when those desktop cards drop. Like it, it's probably Absolutely. not going to be as bad as like a whole new company doing it, but there's going to I I guarantee there's going to be something wrong on day one. Yes, there's going to be, but um, Intel is the, one of those companies that have uh, like contributed to open source a lot. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's not sure going to be that, as big of an issue as Nvidia doing it. Yeah, even if there is for even like not even day one, let's say a couple of months in the beginning, mm. Intel is going to. We we know that Intel is going to you know find a fix. Yeah. In at least six months. Yeah, yeah. So that issue uh, isn't really really big. Even with AMD, I believe. Mm. they are also like contributing back to the open source community so even with their drivers like recently uh when the 6000 series launched mm-hmm. uh it wasn't much of an issue because with uh, people did have an issue i believe someone on the discord or, or telegram group was saying they had a 6700x or something mm. and uh, the amd gpu uh, driver just didn't work and then all i told them is pretty much i can't do anything about this Uh, I'm pretty sure AMD will release an update, and they did, which fixed the issue. So, mm-hmm. as far as Intel AMD are concerned, they do it like in a very short amount of time. Yeah, yeah. 